Hey y'all, welcome back. It's been a little while, it's been a minute. Everybody hit that like button as you come in. Hey, sprinkle, sprinkle everyone. Y'all, if y'all like my lipstick, y'all can head over to levelupcosmetics.us. Links are below. This is the color, the rake that I'm wearing. So come in, hit the like button, and we're gonna start the topic. Okay, so why won't the man love you until you level up and leave him? A lot of people keep asking, why don't they love me? I do everything right, I do all of this, and you know, and then when I leave, they call me and they stop my Instagram and they want to get back together. That's because you're too good for them now. Men always want what they can't have. And that's why when you give them everything, they no longer want you because they have you, period. And you got to understand that when someone is out of their league, that's what they want the most. Y'all should know by some of the dusties that are in here, that they are looking for something that they are unable to acquire. They're not watching Pick Misha and them. They're not on Pick Misha's, you know, videos. So they always want what they cannot have. Remember that. So they should not be able to have you all the time, every day. They should not be able to get in touch with you every second of the day, all day, every day. Because that means they have you. A lot of married women ask me, how do you keep your husband interested? Why? Da, 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 da. How can I keep things interesting after we've been married? By less communication. Okay. By less giving of information. <laughs> By spending more time apart. And a lot of people think that's crazy. Like, why would you want to, why would you want to spend so much time apart? And you're supposed to be getting closer together. No, y'all are about as close as you can get. You can't get so close that he's not going to want to back up. So the point is to keep him getting close and then back it up. Then getting close again and then backing up again. And then getting close again and then backing up again. Okay? If you're stuck like this for a long, 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 long time, he's going to want to go like this for a long, 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 long time. Okay. Thank you, Kimberly. Sprinkle, sprinkle. A pick Misha is someone who goes 50-50, someone who will do anything to keep or get a man, even if he's dusty or broke. That she'll pay the bills. She doesn't look her best all the time. Sometimes she could be pretty, but she's desperate. That's what a pick me she is, though. Thank you, sprinkle, sprinkle. It's like a pick me. A pick me chick. But we named her Pick Misha. Okay. So you got to practice this on a daily basis. Come together, go apart. Come together, go apart. Thank you, Grace. It's always a pleasure to catch you up. Thank you, Sprinkle Sprinkle. Appreciate it. So don't smother people and they won't, you know, try to escape from you for long periods of time. You can't um, get in that habit of being codependent on someone emotionally because... A lot of men don't like that. Some men do like it, but then when they want their space, they want their space. So even in a relationship, even if you're not married, same thing, you know, same thing. Um, how not to smother people, have a life, have stuff to do, make a to-do list that does not require that person's presence. Period. Okay. <laughs> Make sure you spend a healthy amount of time apart. That is key. Spending time together is great, but make sure you're spending time apart too, because that also is going to make your relationship better and make him want you more. Okay. Y'all keep thinking it's the opposite, but it's not. <laughs> um, so a lot of women get in the habit of wanting to clean and you have to, even if you feel like you want to clean, you have to force yourself to go do something else. You got to go, oh, I got to go um, to the store or, oh, I got to go 
take a bath or I got to go do this. Make yourself go do things so that you're not always up under him. Okay. Um. <laughs> and he'll appreciate you more when you come back. He'll be missing you. He'll be wondering what you're doing and wondering why you got up and left and why you didn't want to sit there and cuddle for, you know, hours upon hours. And you'll be like, oh, uh, I'll be back. <laughs> and so he's anticipating your return. He's waiting for you. And while he's waiting for you, he's thinking about you. Yeah. So that's why you got to continue to do that all throughout the relationship. On into marriage and all of that. Thank you, Juanita. Sprinkle, sprinkle. She sent me a cash out. Yeah, being clingy will get you left faster. Or ignored more or cheated on or whatever. So mm -hmm. it's also psychological. You know, when a man thinks he's conquered someone, he has to move on to the next thing. If he doesn't feel like he's conquered you, or if if he doesn't feel like you know, he can get you to stay where he wants you to stay for any amount of time that he wants you to stay. If he can't predict your every move, if he can't get you to, you know, fall under his spell or submit to him totally um, as far as not getting up to go do something or not scheduling something to go do, then he'll continue to try over and over, but you never do it. But if he conquers you, he wants to go conquer another person because now he's checked you off his list. Thank you, Amina. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Amina, sprinkle, sprinkle. So men like to know that they have you. And when they never really truly have you all the way 100%, they keep trying over and over. They, they stay. They're, in, they're more interested. They're more intrigued. Well, my last girlfriend was a total pick Misha and she only wanted to cuddle with me and she was so in love with me and she never left my side and she called me 20 times a day and takes me 30 times a day. This girl's different. She's not doing all of that. You know, I have to work harder. I know she, I know she's into me, but she's not like pick Misha. So she must be better than her. She must have more to offer than her. She must be more confident than her. She must have a life. She must have other important things. Um, so I will take her more seriously because she's not all about me. She has other things to be about. There are other things more important in her life than me. So I got to get at least to the top. So I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to be extra good. I'm not going to mess up so that she notices and wants to stick around longer. And um, so they... Sometimes improve, do more, you know, do the little things that most men don't do. Like they may bring home food, some flowers. They may, you know, give you a massage or whatever. They may bring you breakfast. You know, they may do extra stuff so that they can capture you or they can, you know, uh, get you to submit to them, you know. But when you never do, they have to keep going harder. And then it becomes a habit after a while. After a while, bringing you breakfast, flowers, making you coffee or whatever you drink, it's going to become a habit to them after about two, three, four weeks. And then there you go. That's how you get that type of fan because you never fully give in, ever. Okay. Never give in. Mm -hmm. And if you are in a, um, you know, right, this should be your next book. That's a good idea. Uh, hey, it's Mother No Shade. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, so, yeah, practice not being clingy. That's number one. Practice not calling all the time. That's number two. Let them call you, of course. You always let them call you or text you. Unless they're like ill and you're just checking on their well-being. See if they still lie. You don't need to be calling and texting all the time, right? 
Okay. Giving in means always doing what they want. Always being right by their side. Always being predictable. They know where you are, what time you're there, when you're coming back. They know your every move because you can't stop texting and telling them everything. You tell them everything about yourself. You're an open book. And after they've read you 50 times, they're bored of you. Okay? You don't want to sit there and read the same book every day after you've finished it. You want to go get a new book. So always keep your mystery Never give them too much information because if they finish reading you, they're done. Okay. They may read you twice if you're if you're nice, but after that, they're like looking for some new chapters. Okay. And if you didn't spill everything about yourself in two days or two weeks or two years, they're bored of you. That's why you gotta continuously. Be doing more things while you're in the relationship. So you have more chapters. Okay. Your chapter doesn't end with him. <laughs> so get a life. Collect something. Write a blog. Take a bath. Do some crafts. You know, go to the store and do some DIY. Girl, start a business. Do your nails. Get your hair done. You know, whatever, but get out from under his arm, get up off the couch, get out of the bed. If you're sitting there with him, don't go out with him on a daily basis. You know, and if you do, don't give him that much time. Because that's going to keep him wanting more and more and more. Um, thank you. Okay, so you also want to change things up a little bit, right? As far as looks, types of food that y'all go eat, types of things and music that you listen to. You want to keep everything interesting and fresh and experiencing and exploring new things, you know, at least every month or every couple of months. You want to change it up. Don't get stuck. That's how people start to feel old. They get stuck in the same routine and then the man looks up and feels old and he don't want to be old. If he already old, he sure don't want to be old. <laughs> You're like, ooh, this is the boring settled in life. I need some new excitement. You know, if you're always trying something new, looking different, um, finding different types of music or new artists or, you know, just doing anything different, watching different weird, uh, different types of movies, they're going to get bored of you. So you got to keep it interesting. Um, she wrote, my man doesn't like that I'm leveling up and taking more pics for Instagram. I don't understand why. Because he knows that you're about to level up past him and you'll be too good for him and out of his, out of his league. So, you know, when people grow, they outgrow each other sometimes. If you are outgrowing him, then he needs to figure out how he can grow himself so that he doesn't feel that way. Um, thank you, Genesis. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So, I mean, James tells me that sometimes. He says, I, I like you better with no makeup. I'm like, yeah. Because you've seen me with no makeup. But I had on makeup when I met you and you walked across the room for me. I had on makeup. I had on red lipstick. So they're going to tell you that, period. So that, because I was gone for four hours today. And when I get home, I like you better with no makeup. Of course you do, James. <laughs> Translation is, you look good today. Your makeup is on point. <laughs> okay. They all say that because of cost, right? Thank you, Genesis. Are you able to re retrain him? Is it too late to level up in the relationship? 
By your actions, he will change. Thank you, Deanna. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So some people, some people are competitive and some people aren't. Like you'll have a couple that will compete as far as the level up is concerned. Like, for example, if you start working out or dressing nicer, the man should do the same thing. He shouldn't complain about it. He shouldn't complain about it. Okay. So um, if he is going to not level himself up or work out or do whatever, and he wants you to stop, that means he doesn't want you to move to your higher self or to your more, you know, your highest potential. Because he doesn't want to do the same. He doesn't want to move to his higher potential. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now they just like you genuinely if you love. Men don't genuinely love. Especially when they get bored of you and you smother them. As soon as he can escape from you, he will be gone. They genuinely love when you're not all up under them. That's when they love, and especially when you are. Um, they, genuinely, they genuinely love you when they can't conquer you. Because they don't have the respect for you if they conquer you. you know? They don't have the respect for you if they conquer you. And when I say respect, I don't mean respect as an equal. I mean respect as, you know, a woman. They think any man can conquer you if they conquer you. And that's usually why they turn around and, you know, verbally abuse you because they know you're not going nowhere. And that you can't go nowhere because you're codependent on them. So usually after they conquer you, if they become abusive, it's because they no longer respect you and they're bored of you. And instead of, you know, and they're punishing you for being so, you know, codependent. So clingy. So, and they enjoy doing that because you they're exploiting your weakness and they want you to see how weak you really are before you get up and go do something. Okay? They're waiting on you to get in your right mind because they want to see how far they can push you. What is your limit? And I feel that most people don't realize this because they don't understand um, did I miss a super chat? I'm sorry. Let me go back up. Oh, Kimberly, thank you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Your friend is a technician. She went half on a car with him in the apartment. He didn't have anything. Can I help her? Girl, he must be cute. <laughs> She's already invested in him. So. You can tell her not to invest in more. He should now invest in her. If she keeps investing in him and he doesn't invest in her when they break up, she's going to feel like she's uh, she lost the game. She's not going to have closure and she's going to be messed up. So. Mm -mm. Thank you, Sprinkle Sprinkle. So yeah, that's, that's how they end up mentally, verbally, and physically abusing you because you're too weak. Um, right. So if you don't want to be taken for granted, if you don't want to be perceived as weak, codependent, smothering, then have a life. Make a life. If you don't have one, make one tomorrow. Get you a planner and book everything. Every one or two hours, go do something. Thank you, Aisha. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Don't always answer his call. Don't tell him when you're coming back. You know. Because all that extra added information is basically you submitting to them after, uh, and, you know, and they haven't earned it. <laughs> and like I said, once, once you get all the way down, and they have you, they'll, they'll play with you, they'll torture you, and then they'll release you. Um, that's probably my air conditioner. It's really loud in my room. 
I don't know why. I'm so sorry. Oh, it could also be this uh, fan on the computer. Yeah, the battery. And also, the light's really hot, y'all. Oh, I might upgrade. See, I can only go live on my computer. I can only, like, um, do this live. And then I've been on my computer all day editing and stuff. So it's overheated. But thank you. I am so sorry. If I turn off lights, it might get better. Then it, the screen is grainy. Mm -hmm. Can't we use why we if you have a lot of hair? Yep. Braid it down. <laughs> they have different cap size. Let me put the fan on. They have different cap sizes for hair lengths and thicknesses. So, okay. um, mm -hmm. and yeah, my code is say ten dollars to. Can y'all hear me? That makes it worse? Okay, let me turn it off. Oop, is that better? Okay, so this is better now. Uh, like, let's say you get married and you're a picnician who went to the grocery store and cooked every day of the week, had dinner on the table at eight, seven o'clock or whatever, washed clothes, did laundry. Let's say you did all of that, right? And you told him everything about yourself and what time you coming back, what time you leaving, where you went. Let's say you don't wear makeup and you dress trumpy. He's basically got a slave. And you think you're his woman. Okay. My, my man don't treat me right no more. When we met, we used to do this and that. He doesn't take me anywhere. He don't buy me no gift. That's because you made now. Okay. So... If you don't want to be treated like the maid, don't don't act like the maid. If you think getting a husband requires you being a maid, no, that's getting an employer. Thank you, Jose. Or J I'm sorry, no. Jay. Jay Jai. Your ex tried coming back uh, several times, didn't allow him. After uh he ended it. Did he conquer me? Also, his mom said I uh, was codependent. Probably. Yeah, he conquered you, and then he want now he wants somebody else. Um, he couldn't get nobody else, so now he wants you back, so he can conquer you again and, and do the same thing again. You know, I would never allow anybody to conquer, um, conquer me. <laughs> so, yeah, they they start treating you like. What you act like. You, you act like the maid and the cook and the laundry person. That's it. They don't take that out. You stay home. You know, you could take yourself out, but they may not treat you the same. They may not buy you the nice gifts anymore. Hey, Shira, love your content and your honesty. I watch your videos almost every day to level up mentally off and physically. Thank you, uh, T Wade, for the sprinkle. Appreciate that. Can I make a video on how much I make on YouTube? I make a lot, period. There you go. I ain't gonna tell you the number. I make enough. There you go. Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay. And so, you know, I don't really, it doesn't really matter what I make on YouTube. I'm, I'm still doing what I do. I have lots to tell, lots of people to teach. I, I did it free for a long time, so I don't think it really matters. I completely changed your life. I'm so grateful for your teachings. 
Thank you, Soul Pia. Send my clients from my salon to your way, and I preach your gospel. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Send them my way, girl. Send them. Um, your favorite relative did all of this and that more, and when they got sick, he left and married someone else, of course. Yeah, that's what they do. And that's that's true. Like, if they never conquer you, like when you do get older and sick, they tend to stay. Because now is their chance to prove to you that they're worthy of you. <laughs> now they can get to know you because you're in one spot for a while. You know, they're not bored of you. They don't want to go see what else is out there because they've been chasing you the whole time. Now they finally got you where they want you. Oh, we're going to watch movies all day that day. We'll show you want to binge watch if you sick. You know, now it's like, oh, I finally got you home. I finally got you in one place. So they're less likely to be gone. And if you weren't doing all that cooking, cleaning, and slaving, they're not going to be used to it being done and go try to find somebody else to do it. They might hire somebody or they might know how to do it themselves. So it's not going to be a big deal when you can't do it no more. Okay, so y'all need to stop all that stuff because that's it's like you know it's like a um, a company and you know their cook or their waitress gets sick they can't do business without you they gotta go hire somebody else but if you you know if you was just there standing there not really doing your job you know. I'm a hostess. All I do is just look good and tell people where to sit. They can afford to, to do your job. They, they can do that. That's not such a, a bad thing. Okay. Why do, does he want a baby mama? Why would someone plan to actually be a baby mama? I don't know. Um. So... If men cared about love, they want India Irie instead of Beyonce. <laughs> men don't care about love. I'm trying to tell you. They only care about love when nobody else wants them. Okay. <laughs> because men don't need love like that. They don't need it. They don't go around seeking it. So they don't really need it. Like women feel like they need it. Yeah, they love themselves. Exactly. So they don't go looking for it. You ask a woman, what, you know, what do you want to do? Oh, I want to meet my soulmate. I want to fall in love. I want to get married. You meet a man. I want to do this. And, you know, he's talking about plan for himself. It don't include no woman or no soulmate or I want to find the perfect wife and settle down. No, they say the opposite. So, you know, if, if you don't understand that, you need to really think about it. Would you recommend part-time job if you own a business in an expensive restaurant for finding? Um, I mean, if that's what you want to do, um, I'd start another business where I could be available to meet other people, but I wouldn't be working for some, for some. Um, Why someone become baby mom? Because they want to, I guess. That's the choice they make. Mm -hmm. Speak on the importance of having backup homes, men, jobs. <laughs> Just like you got a spare tire, you need to spare everything, okay? You got flashlights in case the lights go out. You got uh, life jackets and less in case you fall out the boat. You got insurance in case somebody get in a car accident. So where's your backup for everything else? Just think of it like that. They don't have to be um, active. You don't have to be active with your backup. You could be. They could be on hold, waiting, pining in the the back, waiting on you. 
and because you know as soon as you're done they'll be right ready for you so if you can find one like that girl go ahead what kind of business can you start having a sewing skill an etsy store you can make some cute aprons you can make some cute masks you can make some cute uh kimonos or something i don't know some you can make clothes um just go look on etsy girl A E T S Y. okay there you go etsy Would being a stripper make you lose value? Yeah, probably. And not because it's devaluing to you, but because the man will judge you. So in his eyes, he's going to always wonder if his buddies have seen you before. Or if they've seen you naked. What to do when a man is insecure about being so much older than you? Um... Most of the time, it's because the physical appearance is a lot different. And I see, I always say it's easy to help them adjust if you dress classic. If you are not wearing so much trendy things, if you are classically dressed, it will help. If your makeup is classically done, it will help. If your hair is a classic color and style, it will help. Because, you know, the things that make people look young is the style of everything that they choose. So style of hair, makeup, lipstick, you know, patterns of clothing. It will contrast with them. So you want to stay classic when you're around them. You can dress however you want when you're not there. But when you're with them, dress in classic styles, classic colors, classic hairstyles, classic makeup that may help and listen to classic music or music that he can listen to. Don't even put, turn on those trap or whatever. Okay. <laughs> yes, present yourself as a mature, a respectable lady. Um, it also depends on the type of Men, you want to attract. That's true. What do I do? I have a guy that's a millionaire and wants sex, but he doesn't give me enough. He can be a gazillionaire, but if he don't give you no money, he might as well be dusty. Okay. How you going to have all that money and the woman you're supposed to be with and want and, and care about is sitting there in lack? That tells you a lot about his character. If you're sitting there without, he hadn't offered you nothing, you know, he knows you might need some money and he's not doing nothing. I mean, if you have millions of dollars, you, you try to buy pretty much everybody when they don't give you what they want or what you want. So he need to be giving, up, he need to be giving you something, at least some good gifts. Thank you, Mari. What do I tell my Pignation friends when they want to control me? On why I'm distancing myself. Girl, no, how can a friend control you? You're your own person. Calling me fake that I want more in life. And then they want to choose to spend their time. To, I don't know if you in high school. But honestly, you're not going to know those people in about five more years anyway, child. <laughs> you're not going to know them in five years anyway. So live for yourself. Ask any old woman if they still friends with their friends from their 20s. Ask anybody who's 40, 50, 60, 35, if they're still friends with people from 21. They're going to tell you no. Okay? So I really wouldn't worry. Just go get some leveled up friends. Mm -hmm. Um, You had a nightmare He's old and she takes you out 
for expensive lunch, says he will take me shopping and doesn't he doesn't resolve my problems, keeps calling and leaving voicemail. Girl, just stop picking it up. Send him a cash app. Go out to eat next to the mall or in the mall. That, that way he can't say, oh no, we can't go shop. Tell me buy you a gift card that you can shop online. Okay, send them your Amazon wish list. Go shop and then send them your wish list to pay. There's a will, there's a way. Look, I'm gonna get my stuff. I don't care. You said it, you gonna you gonna do it. I'm gonna send you ten different ways to do it. I'm gonna send you <clears throat> an invoice for my PayPal. You are gonna get a cash app, and you're gonna get a wish list, and you're gonna get a request for you to buy me a gift card. You can choose whichever one you need to do, but you are gonna do what you said. Or else, don't don't contact me anymore. <laughs> so, do that. <laughs> Be proactive about your money. Okay, and don't talk about nothing else till he do what he said. Don't talk about the weather. Don't ask him how his day was until he do what he said he was gonna do. Then tell him, I don't want to deal with you because you, you're all talk and no action. Can't do that. And men hate that. Men hate when you tell them that they're all talk and no action. They're not a man of their word. They hate it. Oh, I can't deal with you. You're one of them talkers. You talk more than you do, so. <laughs> I don't get along with those types. Move on to the next one, baby. I wish all men knew to take care of a woman. Sadly, they don't. I, I wish that too. Shira, your opinion is it realistic for a black woman to be self-sufficient in this day and age? It's sufficient for every woman. But why spend yours when you can spend his? See? And when you get sick or pregnant, you don't want to be working for up until nine months because he can't cut it. Okay. As a black woman, why do you put up with less? Why do you accept less? That's the question you need to be asking. Not, is it realistic? Yes, it's realistic. Is it realistic for you to expect less? That's up to you. It ain't realistic for many people anymore. They woke up. Thank you, Ah. Say Ah. Uh, uh. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, girl. So it's realistic depending on who you are. For me, I'm going to have both. I don't have to choose. <laughs> I'm going to have my money and I'm going to have your money. Period. If, if you my man, I got my money. I got you. Um, because it's not my job to finish raising him. It ain't my job to be his crutch when I first meet him. Like, how are you going to meet somebody that already need a crutch on day one? I mean, I can understand, like, if he was well, alive, thriving, paying for stuff, you know, paying all the bills, and one day he just fell and tripped and hit his head or something, ended up in a wheelchair, of course, he could probably sue. And, you know, you might need to chip in your little sprinkle, sprinkle, but not on day one. Thank you, Exo Goddess, sprinkle, sprinkle. So um, that's how I feel about someone that does not, cannot, you know, be in a relationship and hold the woman up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, listen to what. Okay, so I already did a video talking about it. So we got to make sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ayana. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Uh, 
Um, so yeah, don't be all up under no man, not even when you first start dating. Um, let him know you like him, let him know you're interested, you know, give him enough time, but don't, you know, overdo it. Don't overdo it. Mm hmm. That makes a whole lot of sense. Why mess with someone who needs help from day one? Exactly. <laughs> Thank you, speech girl. Prosperity and abundance to you too, girls. Appreciate that. So um, I don't I don't understand why we have to put ourselves in different categories because of something. Oh, is it realistic for you know, a black woman, is it realistic for a black man? Is it realistic for, you know, an overweight woman? You're using your race as a handicap. You're using everything as a handicap. And then you wonder why, you know, you're offended when someone suggests that you treat yourself better. It's like the handicapped person who wants you know, don't want you to open the door for them, but they sitting there stuck struggling. Is it really healthy for you to depend on someone to open the door for you just in case somebody not around one day? You know, let people help you if they want to help you. You don't have to 100% depend on them, but you can be the feminine woman and allow the man to be masculine and help you. Thank you, Ray J. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I'm out and alone, and y'all are my date. I love you, classy family. Okay, hey, Ray J, sprinkle, sprinkle, thank you. Appreciate it. So we're not going to do that. Every time a woman starts a question with, do you think it's realistic for a single mom, um, a black mom, I mean, a black single mom, a 40-year-old, y'all are using these as handicaps. So do you ever hear a man asking those questions? Do you think it's realistic for a 50-year-old fat man with bad stank breath to get him A, B, C, and D? They don't think like that. Okay. In fact, they think the opposite, which is why half of y'all be sitting on a date with that type of man, and he ain't even seeing you as a prize. Okay. So we're not going to go there. Y'all need to stop doing that. <laughs> just think about some of y'all's um, dates that y'all been going on and ask yourself do you think this man feels the same way about himself that I do about myself even though I'm 20 times better looking way younger but yet his self-esteem is higher than mine. Ask yourself these questions. Because the prize knows they're the prize. They know. They don't question it. They're not insecure about it. They don't allow other people to tell them that they're not the prize. They will quickly correct them and they will keep it moving. You know, somebody came in my comments, some dude said that men are the prize. I'm like, yeah, to another man, not to no woman. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> if, and that uh, what else do you say oh well we choose you to marry us no we choose to give you the correct phone number so that you can call us so that you can pursue us to make you think that you're choosing us but you chasing us we chose to give you the correct phone number okay so you don't choose nothing we choose that's why I have y'all be dialing some wrong numbers you didn't even get past phase one. Thank you, DJ. I'm trying to lead him now. He brings me all his money. You're the best. <laughs> Girl, get that money, DJ. Spark sprinkle. Do you ever hear of men getting shot because they won't give up the phone number or they gave the wrong number? No. Or because they um, rejected them? No. We the prize. Always will be. We're born the prize, going to die the prize. Period. You want to be the prize, you know? Whatever. 
that doesn't make it true. You can say it all you like if you're a man. Only time your prize is to pick Misha or another man. Because they got it, you know, pick Misha got it wrong. <laughs> Period. <laughs> See, um, this is why I would never debate somebody because this is where I would go. I would take it low all the way to the flow. <laughs> Don't ever bring me on no you know, live phone call with someone who claims men are the prize because I will take it there. I fight dirty. <clears throat> okay. Why do men want you to be feminine but believe in 50-50? Because they aren't man enough to get a feminine woman yet. But they... um trick somebody into doing it. So uh, you want a feminine woman? Be a very masculine man, which means you're paying for everything. He want a feminine woman, but he ain't all the way masculine yet. So he can pay for it all. Men benefit more from the marriage. Never let, let them live, lie to you. That's true. I believe it. Because so half these men would be dead right now if they weren't married. For real. The life expectancy will go lower. Thank you, Frankie. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Appreciate it. You said dust be gone. Right. We are the prize, but... And, and the prize don't stay stuck under somebody. Okay. The prize does not stay stuck. They belong, uh, you know, they're in a showcase. That's why you got to look good. You're the prize. You, you got a showcase. They polish you up. You got to stay polished. You got to stay in your showcase. You know, um, in some tournaments, you know, some people compete for you. And they get the trophy. People are proud. Oh, they, they hold you up and show you off. That's the prize. You do you hear do you hear women doing that to men? Do they showcase their man? Do they show them off? Is this you know what they've worked so hard for this trophy prize of a man? Uh, do they fawn over him and talk about the time that they uh, won this trophy or whatnot? No, they don't do all of that. So we know the prize. That's us. And the prize is desperate. The prize does not care who the competition is. May the best man win. Okay, you can't convince us with some guilt, some 50-50, some building together. Either you win it or you don't, period. Either you get first place or you don't get this trophy. And there's no compromise. Either you're the winner or the loser. And when you start compromising, when you start doubting yourself, when you start handing out trophies to everybody on the team, so, you know, then you become pygmesia. <laughs> so that's why I say, oh, no. If you're playing to win a prize, that woman is probably out of your league. If you are a man and you feel that you are a prize, you don't go after women that are not prizes to you. You see, a man who already thinks he's the prize will not go for a woman who he thinks is a prize because he's not trying to get with her for love. He's not trying to get with her for, you know, um, clout. He's trying to get with her for a maid, a cook, a mother, a barber, the builder, a beard, whatever. So, <laughs> a roommate, whatever. So, if that's the type of man you want, then go ahead. 
a lot of women just want a man and they don't think about this until it's too late, until they end the problem, until they realize, dang, I'm the maid. <laughs> okay. Dang, I'm the maid. And you also got to look at yourself. You, we got to be honest with ourselves. You got to look in the mirror and like, look, do I look like a prize or a maid? If you look like a maid, and somebody is like, oh, you the one, I want to marry you. Da, da, da. Make yourself look like the prize first, level up, and then see what they do. <laughs> we always got to stay leveled up. You know, they're going to have some off days. Just do something with yourself. Don't matter. Wear cute, you know, some cute pajamas. At least comb your hair and brush teeth. Put some chapstick on us, huh? But stay cute, stay feminine, stay um, pretty, no matter what. Don't let yourself go. Don't start wearing ugly, lounge around the house clothes, you know. Oh, y'all, I think my lip glosses are in. Y'all remember when I was ordering my lip gloss? And I named it Chapstick Alley. I think they're in. I'm about to put them up probably today or tomorrow. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. I always have mascara and lipstick near. Good for you. How do you play down attraction? How do you play down attraction? Pick Misha ways for a 6'6 six, six handsome man with charisma, has money a, and a lot of women want, but he's interested in you. But I drool when I met him. Girl, thank, uh, I am impressive, Miss Sprinkle Sprinkle. Um, I would only be interested in him for a second, and I would also have backups, and I would also be dating other men. If you want that kind of man, all of that comes with him. All of it comes with them. You know what I'm saying? So just understand when you want that type of man, all of that baggage comes with him. Okay. <laughs> and if you want his attention, it's going to be hard because he has so many women chasing him. If you want his attention, you got to date other men. With more money and make him compete they don't he don't have to know about him but he might have to just feel that you might be dating someone else or think that you don't have a lot of time for him you ain't gonna bend over backwards for him he's gonna have to work for you yeah but usually if there's a line of pink leashes that he could just dial up versus working for you it just depends on what type of man he is and what he wants that's the what he'll go for and if he ever 100% gets you, he'll be back looking who's in line. Seeing a pick me show over there. So, but all of that comes with him. That line of pick me shows come with him. Okay, just understand that. That's why I say, you know, men uh, who are very attractive like that come with a line of pick me shows behind them through the, through the whole relationship, through the marriage, et cetera, et cetera. <clears throat> Uh, what does it mean when the man says I'm curious about you that means he can't figure you out and he's trying to get you to tell him more information but you don't okay hmm. why would you help a man glow up not your job you glow up if they leave you, they still get another one. Exactly. Don't help no man glow up or help him glow down. <laughs> mm -hmm. What to do if he doesn't love you as much as you love him? Um, it means you chose the wrong target. <laughs> you chose the wrong man. They're supposed to like you way more for you to even get in a relationship with him. Okay, that's to be the number one standard. 
you got to like me 20 times more than I like you for me to even go out with you. You got to like me way more than I like you. That's how, that's the only way it's going to work. So never do that again. If it's too late, then, you know, pull back a little bit. Stop spending time with him, you know, do other things. Go out by yourself sometimes. Explore new things. If you're not married, go date other people. Don't stay stuck on one person if they don't love you like, like that. Mm -hmm. Believe me, you're just doing yourself a disservice. You're wasting time and energy. You wish P Misha knew what men say about them. They, they don't care. That's the point. That's why their name is Pick Misha. They don't care. <laughs> they only care, you know, when Pick Misha start caring, when she get heartbroken. Thank you, Cryptonomics. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You said folks better recognize. <laughs> Steam, Steam Leota, he said folks better recognize. Right. She remind married men want to buy a phone and give me gold necklace. He is 54 and I'm 20. Girl, get your phone in your neck. Like, what you doing? Sprinkle, sprinkle. Good for you. Uh, Shira, do we have to reciprocate only about 40% what men give us? How can we do that? What? Reciprocate? I ain't finna reciprocate nothing. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, Cryptonomics. Live a little. Uh, sprinkle, sprinkle. 40%. That's too much. Like, how about 1%? You know what? I was, I buy all these crafts. Uh, I, I went shopping today and I have all this stuff to make uh, crafts with. And I was going to show you ladies how to make a wonderful Dollar Tree basket for your man for the holiday season. Because we don't do no 40%. We do 1%, 2% maybe. So we're going to make the Dollar Tree basket looks really cute. Okay. Get a little bucket. If you want a big basket, you can do that too. <laughs> this Christmas, get the big basket. Right? It's the birthday, get the little bucket. All right. We ain't giving gifts like that. No, no, no. Ew. No, not. Anyway, I gotta go through all of it. Y'all see it. Y'all will see it. <laughs> Thank you, Jasmine. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Do men ever pretend they don't love you? Is that a thing? Men don't have to pretend. Sprinkle, sprinkle. They lust you, and then when they're bored of you and they conquered you, then they want to go lust someone else. But if you keep them intrigued and chasing then they have to just keep chasing you over and over thank you anita do people interested in personal consultations zoom sessions instagram dm you for your rate uh yeah they usually write me on my etsy store which is linked below in the description bar just write me on there or my email just check the about section on my youtube channel page Sure, what happened to your other content about? Oh, it's probably on my other channel. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Mm -hmm, I have... <laughs> she, she, or he is 56. I'm 27. He gives me allowance. How to raise it advice. Tell him you need more. COVID costs. Take it first, then tell them you need more like a, um, after, after you take it. Tell them you need like a couple hundred more or at least a thousand, I don't know. Whatever y'all arrangement is, tell me you need more. You said I got 50 channels? I sure do. I got something. I'm about to start another one, but I figure I'll just start a different playlist. Get, your, get, get that Dollar Tree basket working. Y'all don't, women don't have to spend a lot of money. Men are simple creatures. Yeah. As long as you thought about them and the gifts are genuinely well thought out, they'll be happy because they really just want to see what you want to wear. 
That's the big, biggest gift ever. Um, a teddy bear, right. New subby here. You're 26. The guy I'm talking to is 34. Never married or have kids. Is that a red flag? No, 34 is young. And most men don't, like, that's very young. Most men really don't want to marry until they're, like, older. <laughs> he didn't get caught. He didn't get caught up. <laughs> okay. He stayed free until he was ready. Until he's ready. A lot of men really don't want to marry them. They just get the ultimatum. If it were up to them, they wouldn't be married. Half the women gave them an ultimatum, especially the younger guys. That's why they're married. Either you going to marry me or I'm leaving you and I'm going to sleep with your best friend. That's basically why they married them. So they wouldn't leave and go sleep with somebody else. <laughs> so, but if it, if it were up to them, they would wait longer. But the women don't wait because they have a biological clock. And we know that's true. What do I think of Pretty Boss TV leaving the occult and following Christianity? It's all the same thing. It's just in code. The occult, Christianity, Islam, Buddhism, Hinduism, all of those religions and the occult and science all say the same thing in different ways. So it don't matter. <laughs> like, honestly, if you tro truly knew how to decode, it wouldn't matter. You could be all 18 of whatever religions there are on the planet <laughs> and still understand they're all meaning the same thing. So I don't really care. They're all walking towards the same goal. <laughs> and I don't really judge people they can do what they want to do it's their life maybe she's doing it for a man maybe she find her good old Christian sugar daddy maybe she find her good old Christian man and she gotta tame and whip right quick and get that money we don't know I told y'all if, if, if you ever see me in a church and went Christian because uh, it was about that money can't judge people. We don't know why she did that. <laughs> Thank you, Be Royalty. How to look cute while exercising outside. Is it okay to wear a, your waist trainer shows? Um, sprinkle, sprinkle. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. For me, I don't know how I feel about waist trainers. When I see people working out, I, I don't like to judge, but I don't know how I feel about that yet. So I, I need a little bit more time. I think it's kind of, I don't want to say ratchet, <laughs> but it ain't classy. I'll just say that. Okay. It's like, I don't want to say ratchet, but it ain't classy. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. I'm on fire. <laughs> Thank you, A. Hogan. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I'm not sure how many online video dates before I ask him to help me with rent. Online video. Go start crying online. Right then and every like, Tend like you're opening your mail. Hi, it's so good to see you. Let's start finish checking the mail. And then start looking at the mail like, what's wrong? Oh, it's got some bad news. What? It's got an unexpected medical bill. Or an unexpected bill. Or a giant bill. And I can't pay it. Oh. How much is it? Oh, that's too bad. You can, did you get your Donald Trump check? Oh, yeah, that was good. It's just like, as soon as you finish paying one, another one comes. It's just so, so stressful. Oh, I wish I didn't have to worry about you. 
Well, maybe I can help y'all. Really? Yeah. You would do that for me? Well, I mean, if it helps. Yeah, it really would. So, oh my God, for real? You are so sweet. Here, here's my cash app. Here's my PayPal. Here's my Zelle. You go my stuff. Can you do it right now? Because I really need to pay this. It's well overdue. And if I pay it, you know, real quick, I don't have to pay the overdraft fee. Not the overdraft fee, but the, the late fee or whatever. Don't get off that online call till you hear that cha-ching on your phone. Or you check that email and that money down. Start taking off clothes. Like when he starts saying, yeah, like, really? Start off with lots of clothes on. So as he gets nicer, more things come off. And he doesn't, like, it's, it's kind of psychological. You know? <laughs> sure, what does it mean when a guy says you have too much attitude? It means you're he's scared of you. Um, it means you're difficult. It means he's afraid to talk to you. It means you overreact on everything. It means you're not pleasing. It means he has to tiptoe around you. It means he can't be himself with you. It means a lot of things. It means that he's uncomfortable around you most times, especially when he has to tell you something. So it's like, you know, you like someone, but then there's that one thing about them that makes you not like them. So I would definitely change the attitude because you could act all day long. There's no excuse for a woman to have an attitude all the time. You only have an attitude when you don't want the person anymore or when you don't care what they think. Where you already got them and you got them paper signed and you can't go nowhere unless you pay you, period, right? You're not supposed to have an attitude until you, are, you have a guarantee. <laughs> Okay. And it, it, even if even after you get the guarantee, the attitude will get you less than being nice will. You know, even after you get the license, marriage license or whatever, you still don't have an attitude all the time because you can get more. I only have an attitude when it's absolutely 100% necessary. Mm-hmm. Um, now, you don't, that doesn't mean you have to be 100% nice. You can have, like, doubts. You can have a tone, but attitude is pushing it all the way. Mm -hmm. Shu, what do you think of Cerebral, Cerebral's channel? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I haven't watched that person. <laughs> What does it mean if a guy says you're not a good person? My ex said that to me. Uh, it means you're not a good person to take advantage of. I didn't know I was born to be a good person. I thought I was born to, to do what I wanted to do and stuff. Like I didn't know I was born to be a good person, just especially for you to approve of. I didn't know that was my purpose on earth. Um... I'm a good person to me. So yeah. You're not a good person. Well, I'm sorry. You're not a very good person either. I guess we belong together. We're two bad people. And most of the time, you're not a good person because you've been dealing with him and you turn into a bad person. Most of the time, when women start off, they're really good. And after dealing with a dusty loser for so long, they turn evil and bad, got an attitude, cranky, mad, pussing people out. 
because of that person and stressed you out, made you mad, betrayed you, lied to you, <laughs> abused, used, tossed you to the side. You're supposed to be upset. You just went through a bunch of craziness. You weren't supposed to come out of that smiling <laughs> unless you had a backup and you stayed leveled up and you had another one. Then you come out smiling. Okay. <laughs> What does it mean that a guy tells you, don't you want a guy, don't you want to be happy? Do the guy come with money? Um, do the guy pay with my bills? Because that. You said who my backup? I don't know. I'm taking applications. Who? You want to apply? I turned evil for a while. Yeah, I think everybody has turned evil for a while at some point in their life. Very true. Once I leveled up and left, he came trying to crawl back. By then, I had more options. Exactly. If they want you back after you've left and leveled up and did a lot better, then you would be moving backwards. That's why I always tell women, don't go after your ex because... If you put all that energy and focus on you, he'll be coming after you and you won't want him anymore. <laughs> when my wife takes a shower, she leave her drawers on the floor while she don't pick them up. <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe you need to ask her. Oh, thank you, Cryptonomics. Yeah, I'm going to apply. Where's the application? <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> I don't know. I got to make one up real quick. I got to make one up. Thank you, Sabir, New York. Sprinkle, sprinkle. How to look cute at the gym, girl. Do your eyebrows wear cute feminine looking gym clothes. If you don't like to wear a lot of makeup, at least put on some concealer, some mascara, and some lipstick or something. They got waterproof makeup. Okay. Don't go there just to work out like a, a you know, a mule. Go there to be seen. Do some feminine workout like yoga or stretching or like, like you know, walking on a treadmill. Do the thigh masses so they can see your booty work. I don't know, but I'm not going to go to the gym to look like who did it and why. If I if I get up in the morning and put some clothes on, I'm going to try to look decent or at least attractive. People checking out people the most in the gym. Why wouldn't you go there looking good? <laughs> Men come in there just eyeballs like this. You shouldn't go in there looking crazy. Thank you for responding. <laughs> You're welcome. What if they breath stink, girl? Vicks vapor rub. <laughs> Chapstick, car mix. That way, anything coming into contact is like blocked, you know, microorganisms are blocked. You said vapor rub. From, yeah, you rub it under your nose so you can't smell day nasty breath. You smell it this. It's for you. <laughs> Thank you, Star Starless Starless Sky Starlet Sky. How much attention should you give the other half before you start to look like you got soft? You mean the other half of yourself? Because I ain't no man. My the the man ain't my other half. He's a man. 
So I never say my other half because I'm a whole. But if you're talking about a man, you should give them enough attention for them to not want you to leave when you're leaving. Let them get all comfortable. Like they finna get comfortable, lay on you, then get up. Gotta go. Gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be back. We'll be gone for like 30 minutes. You can stay in the house and do it. Then come back. Get back in the position. Then do it again. <laughs> then you're going to be like, man, just lay down for a few minutes. I just want to lay on you. Okay, I guess. Let me pick the movie then. Then you get to pick the movie. Well, I know I'm going to be thirsty, so go get myself in a drink, too. That way I don't have to lose. Thank you, bold and courageous. Thanks for everything. I've been getting results in life overall. More free stuff comes your way. You just got a cash gift for doing nothing. Still leveling. Good for you, girl. See? A little love get you paid. Bold and courageous. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Yes. What to do if your boyfriend looks at other girls? Should we look to other guys, too? Um, you have a young, I don't know, you probably got a young man. He gonna look, period. Okay. He ain't blind. Um, he's gonna look. There's nothing you can do to stop him from looking. If he is rude about it, you're probably not his type. If he does it all the time and he knows that you don't like it and he continues to do it, he's basically telling you and them other girls that you're not his type and that they can take him from you. You, if they want to. Thank you, Pumpkin Woo. Hi, Shira. I follow your advice and in the process, notice I became very insecure about projecting femininity. Sometimes I compare myself to curvier body types and feel less feminine because of it. How do I overcome that? Wear tighter clothes, sprinkle, sprinkle. Find outfits. Thank you for the donation, Pumpkin Woo. Um, don't do that. A lot of people got plastic surgery. A lot of people pay for their body parts and you know a lot of people fall on trend you know i remember in the 90s you gotta you had to be a stick you had to be skinny then oh then you had to have big lips oh then you had to have shaved eyebrows now you gotta have a booty now you have to have a um misproportionate size breast hip rate waist ratio now you got to look like a brat's doll. I mean, if y'all, you know, we have to be secure in what we like and what we look like. There are men out there who don't like all of that. There are men out there that like a normal body or a, you know, untouched body or a regular body. Okay. So just understand. And plus, when you, when you look like that, you become you know, a target for attention. Attention like, oh, she had her, they're just going to say you had work done. They're not going to say, oh, she's beautiful. You know, oh, that's fake booty. You know, people can point out fake booties a mile away. Or she had a blood lift. Or, you know, that's silicone. So you don't want to be like, and then think about when you get old, it's going to sag. Keep your own body if you if you buy a fake booty like you know that come um, inside the underwear, the little pads, great. But if you put it on, you're gonna feel weird anyway. I just think it's a fad. It's gonna it's gonna pass. They always pass. I've been long. I've been alive long enough to see all these trends pass, and this one ain't just but another one. <laughs> Okay, so if you look at the body of Naomi Campbell, she did not change anything about her body type since she began modeling. She's still in style. She's classic, okay? Just because you see Cardi B and, you know, Beyonce and um, everybody does not mean 
that in 10 years from now, that's going to be what people want. It could change overnight. So we got to just like what we got. And if you don't like it and you truly want to be a curvier person, like a Nicki Minaj, she was... Now she looks very disproportionate to me. But you see, Rihanna has natural curves now. Yeah, natural. If you want to like, just gain weight, gain weight. But I see that uh, <laughs> just stay classic. Think about when you get old. A lot of people don't think about that. When you get old, start getting arthritis, back problems, you don't care that fake booty around and fake boobs going to be down to here or stuck up here. <laughs> I don't know. I think about when, when I get old, when I get old, so I would never do anything that wouldn't work as an old lady. Thank you, lovey. You are, you have two boyfriends. One is older, paid, helping me with my credit, but isn't committed to me at all. The other one is my age and that playing his role. Money, should I drop Potential number one, or just keep both for now. Girl, keep both. Why are you going to drop one? If, if you can get away with it, as long as you can get away with it, keep both, save your money. Don't burn bridges. Keep them as a backup. I would definitely, thank you, girl. I would definitely keep both until I had to give one up. Until I absolutely had to. I didn't have a choice. But yeah, you got to make sure that you're going to be okay when you old. I always think about, okay, so, you know, you always see old women, either they get like, a, they, they start bending over a hump, like a humpback, or they they grow a giant booty when they get old. If you if you get butt implants plus grow a giant booty, you're going to have a double booty. Um, you know, if you get real old and you have like fake body parts, and you wind up in a nursing home or paralyzed or something, you know, <laughs> laying in a bed, you're gonna have they're gonna have to remove them because they're gonna start making bed sores that's gonna eat through your skin and cause gangrene and flesh eating disease. And you're gonna have to, they're gonna have to, you might just die of septis, sept blood poison. Okay, I've seen it. A lot of times they become toxic and start leaking in your body. And if you're old and, you know, they don't know what's really wrong with you because they never knew grandma had a fake butt, you know, you just drift away into the night onto the other side. <laughs> Why do men always use their baby mamas but never really want to be with them? Because they did not demand to be a wife. So they don't count. They're still holding out for the, the one that they may marry. You know, It's kind of like a woman not choosing to be with someone because she feels she can do better. So she will, you know, that's what it is. You know, that's what it is. So... That's why some men treat their baby mamas, as you call them, that way because they feel like she's not the one. She just happened to get pregnant by him. But she ain't the one. She's not the wife. She's not his, you know, his trophy, his prize. She just got pregnant by him when he was out there, you know, messing around. So... Men like it when you have standards, that's right. Kylie didn't got plastic surgery on her whole face and still look good though. Yeah, she looked good, but the, the point is, if you look at Kris Jenner, if you look at Bruce Jenner, well, Kate, Caitlyn Jenner now, they're all gonna end up looking like the same. Overdone. Because it's addictive. Once you go, once you get one thing done, you got to get another thing done, and another thing done, another thing done. And when you uh, when you get old, you're gonna look like a monster. 
Mm-hmm. She look good now. Yeah. Let's just hope she stops while she's ahead. I said they all look like clones. Yeah. That's that's. I mean, she look. I'm not saying she's ugly. I'm. She looks good. Everybody look good that then had the little surgery. But after the after a while, they start going crazy, especially when they start to get less famous. I mean, look what happened to Lil Kim. Just look look back when when people start getting out of the limelight, they start thinking that they're not good enough anymore, that they need to get more work done, and they start messing with themselves because now all of a sudden they're not as famous. So they start messing with that. Or they have to maintain it. And in order to maintain it, they have to go to the extremes and they start looking crazy. So, um, do you think after a certain age, no kids, that it's more difficult to get a high value man? What should you say? Is that danger zone? No, because you always get an older man and you always be younger to them. You know, uh, just get an older man. So you're 45, get you a 65, 70. He, think, he thinks you're beautiful, young, and, and, and he's a high value, retired, got some savings, 401k, retirement, a lake house, boat, whatever. He, you know, if you're trying to find someone your own age, that might be difficult because men tend to date younger the older they get or the more successful they get. So I would definitely date older because I will always remain the prize and I will always, you know, be able to date a man of high standard. <laughs> and but that frame will mess you up. All that money won't save your face. Oh, that fame. Yeah. <laughs> Would you consider eight years a gap or around the same age? Um, it will be enough to teach you a little bit, but ultimately, it's to me, it's the same age. It'll be like somebody 40 versus someone 48 or someone 30 versus someone 38. They know a little bit, but they ain't got you all the way. They, they don't got you like that. You know? Thank you, Liz. Sprinkle, sprinkle. What if he's older and used to younger? Then you date someone older and not used to younger. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You go for a fresh one. <laughs> There ain't nothing better than an older man who's never dated someone way younger. We give y'all his money, girl. What are safety tips when going on dates? Mace, um, taser. Don't go over their house. Don't get in their car. Especially now on the first few dates. Take a picture of their driver's license. I mean, take a picture of their license plate. Make sure where you meet and got cameras. I don't know. And speed dial. Tell people where you're going. So if you don't return home, they know where to go start the investigation. Right. What, when you hit the mainstream, can you remember you your day one? Hmm? The mainstream. I don't think I'll ever hit the mainstream because I am not mainstream material. <laughs> Thank you, though, Sprinkle Sprinkle. I'm not mainstream material. And y'all already know that. They would never make me mainstream. I'm too extreme to be mainstream. I'm mainstream privately to y'all. Yes. They would never put me on TV. 
They will never ask me to be part of the view, the talk, whatever. <laughs> Who's, they will never ask me to do that. Because I'm too honest and I'll be telling the truth and giving away all the secrets. Or current. What would I do if they asked? I would be suspicious that they were trying to tame me and conquer me. And I would only agree if I had 100% creative rights. They can't guarantee me that? The answer is no. <laughs> okay, I, I can be a guest. I could be a segment but I'm not going to join permanently. I don't want to represent you. You know, I don't believe in none of that. Like, I'll just come and steal your viewers and bring them back over here, but I'm not getting ready to go be part of what y'all doing, like in the mainstream. I'll just come take some stuff and bring it back. <laughs> so... And plus, you know, they, they try to edit you and make you sound stupid after they finish your edit. Well, next up, we have a woman who believes that you shouldn't help a man at all and that women are the prize and that da 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 da, da you know, make them feel good. And that women are worth more than men. And then you'll have a pick Misha on there arguing with you, trying to uh, ruffle your feathers. And I'm like, look, you might be famous, but you still a pick Misha, baby. <laughs> they would kick me off and try to sue me for um, embarrassing them in public. She called me a pick Misha on TV on my own show. I showed it. Then I'm going to get my own show. But then they'll try to exploit me in the opposite direction. So I'd rather just have creative control over everything. So I'll just stay here and just bring some subscribers. Defamation, the character lawsuit. Exactly. I'd be getting sued every day. I couldn't do it. A lawsuit for calling you Picnisha. Lawsuit for calling you Dusty. Lawsuit for calling <laughs> I'm going back to YouTube. So, you know, once you get in the mainstream, you get famous, and you get on talk show, people want to so, sue you for calling Dusty. So, uh, no, I, I want to keep that. I want to keep that ability to call people Dusty without getting sued. So refreshing. Why are some men obsessed with impressing their friends more than impressing their woman? Because they already got you. Their friends are going to be there after you. They were there before you. They were going to be there after you. And men compete with each other. You're just the woman right now. And they already figure if you, you know, they got you. So they don't have to impress you anymore. If they never get you, they'll be trying to impress you. So never let him get you. Has anyone ever, has anyone famous or popular ever contacted me for advice? Well, wouldn't she want that? I'm sure they have. Um, how to get an apartment from a sugar daddy? Tell him he could spend the night whenever he wants. Lie, lie, lie. And be like, oh, my mama came to visit me. My cousin's staying over. Or I got a babysit. Tell us cheaper in the long run. And he could stay over sometimes. And you. You feel safer. You live in a bad neighborhood. And you want to be closer to him. Something just. Make it all sound good to him. Make it all win-win for him. Then do what you want afterwards. Um, 
So make sure. Make sure you remain the prize. What if you find out potential has hired a PI on you? Um, that's easy. Just go to shopping centers. I mean, go to apartments. Go to condos. Go to malls. Like, if People can track you online as well. Like they have private investigators that will track your online records. If they're, if they're doing all of that, they don't trust you. So <laughs> make sure it's worth it when you get caught. Make sure, make sure you get as much as you can before you get caught, girl. Mm -hmm. Thoughts on men doing their eyebrows? Is that feminine? You mean like with drawing them in and shaping them and plucking them? If their eyebrows look better than mine, I got a problem. I was just watching some show, the end of it by accident, and I didn't even want to see it no more. I'm like, turn that mess. Mm -hmm. oh, I forgot the name of it, but it was like a series. This lady was taking a shower with her boyfriend. It's like an interracial couple. And she was looking at his booty. And there was something like hanging out. And she, and she was like done. And it was a condom. And then she um, like ran and locked herself in the bedroom. So he couldn't get in. She was looking through his bags and stuff. And uh, she found some money. And I don't know. And then she finally unlocked the door. And uh, she was thinking back before she unlocked the door, like about what some other dude said, everything you're touching is mine. And she had she realized she had her hand on her man and something else, the table or whatever. I don't know. So she, that's his boyfriend. And so when she opened the door, she slit his throat. I'm like, I can't watch TV no more after that. I'm out of here. I gotta go. I'm going where I need. Mm -hmm. I'm out. <laughs> I'm done. I don't even know the name of that show. Um, what about men wearing eyeliner? I mean, unless he's Michael Jackson or Prince. Or Captain Jack Sparrow, I don't know. <laughs> Not no normal person. If he ain't on the stage, if he ain't world famous, if he don't have decoys and doubles, no, he can't be wearing no eyeliner. Mm hmm. You say, you say you think it's sexy when they wear eyeliner. You won't think it's sexy when that condom hanging out their booty when you taking a shower? <laughs> Thinking you was the only one? Like the show I just told y'all told y'all about. All right then. No eyeliner. Bad eyebrows. <laughs> what tips do you have for a 19-year-old level of Make some standards. Don't date certain people unless they meet your standards. That way you never make mistakes as far as dating a dusty. <laughs> um, how long does it take for why we to ship? I, I guess it depends on what you order because I, I know they have warehouse here and maybe you can pay extra on shipping. I'm not sure. Cause they always just ship it to me. I think I might have ordered once. It might take one and a half weeks. So, unless the wig is back ordered, so I would ask. All right, but usually not that long. Do guys feel about you dating? 
Ashira, how do guys feel about you interracially dating before, but the current guy is the same race as you? I don't know how they feel. They they should feel lucky. That's all I know. <laughs> that I'm with them. That, that's all they need to be, be feeling lucky. Um. <laughs> they need to feel lucky that you you with them. Period. How can I get my sugar daddy to agree to my six to ten thousand allowance? Make sure he got it like that for you. Uh, and if he do, don't give him none until he giving it to you. Keep talking about how you need it until you get it. How to not be clingy and smother people when you have family or love. When you don't have family or love, get a cat, baby. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Smother your cat and your dog and kisses instead of the person. Use them as a buffer. You know, if you want to snuggle and kiss and just receive unconditional love from somebody without being crazy and smothering, get you a cat. Mm -hmm, I love you, kitty. Uh -huh. You know, get you a dog. Mm -hmm, I love you, dog. Get you a stuffed animal. Um, because that's your maternal instinct. You want to nurture and love because that's what women do because they are mothers and they have that inside them for their children, their future children. So make one of them animals your kids and don't push that all on a man because that's going to smother them. <laughs> you say, what's better, a cat or a dog? I don't know, depend on who you are. I don't know. I prefer cats because... Um, I don't know. My first pet was a cat. <laughs> right. Um, Shardy Morris, uh, go to my description bar. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. Contact Detailer on Facebook and message Detailer to get in. Yeah, it's it's a pay group. It's in the description bar in every video. You like cats better? Good. <laughs> now stuffed animals? Good. Yeah, you got to fight that because eventually it's going to wear, wear them down. All that smothering. Okay, think about this. Think about this. You all snuggle and, and kissing and hugging on your man all the time. It's not going to mean anything anymore. They're not going to get excited all for you anymore. You, you understand what I'm saying? If you always touching somebody, it's no longer sensitive to you anymore. See, you always up on somebody. You're, you don't look good no more. You don't smell good no more. You don't feel good no more because now you're just the norm. So you need a buffer. You need stuff to get up and go do. You need a hobby. You need a business you need to go to the store you need to go hang out with your friends you need a cat you need a dog okay you don't need to be all up on somebody because they get desensitized when it comes to you okay so when you touch them they don't feel excited anymore it's more like oh god get your hand off me it's hot or, oh god instead of woo i got I got goosebumps, you know. They don't get that no more when you touch them because you always touch them. They don't get that no more. They're like, as soon as you walk in, they know you finna sit right next to them. They get, oh, mm -hmm. you don't sit there. Go sit across the room. Why, why you didn't come sit by me? It's hot over there. I might come later. Then you can look good, let them watch you for a while, get up and walk past them. Then sit down for two minutes and get right back up. Okay, that's how you do it. Y'all y'all gotta play the game. Keep them excited. If you with a man and he don't even try to get at you no more, if he don't want to have sex with you, if you always initiating, it's because he's tired of it's because he's tired of you. You he's um you're normal to him now. You don't excite him. 
So you got to make sure you don't um, overstimulate him. That's what they call it, overstimulating. He's overstimulated when your touch doesn't do anything for him anymore. Mm hmm Thank you for all your amazing advice. Level up is real. Yeah, thank you, Sprint Sprinkle. So doesn't that happen in no, most marriages? Yeah, because the woman is always up under the man. Not in my marriage. Look, not in my marriage. Like, honestly, it's what you make it. It's what you make it. Now, after so many years, there's only so much you can do and it kind of calms down, but not to the fact where your very touch is, you know, unwanted or your very touch is not somewhat thrilling. <laughs> Some people get to that point before, you know, a few years in their relationship not being there because they overstimulated the person. Mm -hmm. By the time he comes back, you should already be gone. <laughs> mm -hmm. Damn, and it's crazy how that's normalized. It is normalized. It's normalized. That, why do you think men call their wives, like when they get older, the ball and chain, the old ball and chain, because they connected to them, holding on to their ankle like this. Where are you going? Come back. I'm always going to be next to you. As they call wives the old ball and chain because they always got a, a chain on. Um, where you been? Where you going? Where you coming? Where you coming from? Where you coming home? Why you didn't answer your phone? You can't do that. You can't spend that much money. You can't buy that car. You can't go on vacation. You can't do that. They become like the prison warden because they think they have say over you. If they're paying any type of bill, they think if you share a bank account and both contribute to it, they have sale for what you can purchase. Um, they want you home every night because they home every night. So, hey, son. so unless you have your own life, they're not going to treat you as they should. Hi, Sasha. What you doing sneaking around? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One hour and 48 minutes. Why? You want to do something? Mm -hmm. What you want to do? Crafts. Okay, Sasha, want to go do some crafts. So I might I might film it for my blog. You want to go paint right in? Okay. Sasha and I are going to go crafting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But thank you all so much. I appreciate everybody who donated and asked good questions. Y'all are ans asking some good questions today. I'm proud of y'all. I think it's because there's new subscribers too. Anyway, or maybe it was just the topic, but thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank you, Beauty for Fun. Did I hear of Coach e EO Champion Game? Is that like Captain EO? Sprinkle, sprinkle. Did he look like Michael Jackson? I only know about Captain EO. But thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. If his name was Captain EO, I might have found it by now. I'll see you later. Thank you, everyone who hit the like button. If you didn't donate, hit the like button. That's your donation to me. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Y'all share the video. Subscribe. Hit that little bell notification thing. Make sure you hit it to where you get your announcements for every time I go live. Because I think if you, you get a choice, you like, do you want it sometimes or do you want it every time? You got to hit every time. I want, I, want, I want to be notified every single time. She was seven go live, not just sometime, but every time. So, wow. 
because that's how they make it now. You got to click the little bell and then they give you a little choice. You want it once or, or every time or every other time, but every time. <laughs> All right. I'll see y'all later. Bye. <laughs>